What's up guys? It is I, once again, Yusuf Al Sanad, and welcome to another episode of the Movie Monday series created by Emily Boone. Please do check our channel out. She's a really awesome YouTuber and one I'm very proud to call my friend, my dear beloved friend. I'm going to add the link for her channel down below in the description box. And for this week's topic in the Movie Monday series, I'll be discussing with you guys and gals my top five urban legends I wish to see in movies or in other cases top five urban legends you wish to see in other movies for those who are participating in the movie monday series this is a topic i really want to talk about because i really do love urban legends and folklores told in north america japan or other countries around the world including europe folklores and urban legends are ones that do fascinate me whether it concerns mythical creatures or paranormal type ghost or phantoms. I always found interest in the mystique or the unknown. I really do love these kind of topics because it's one that really does fascinate me unlike anything that's going on right now around the world. And just like the previous episode of the Movie Monday series, I'm going to be ranking these urban legends based on a ranking system from number 5 to number 1 and here's how the list goes. At number 5 we have Big foot otherwise known as a sasquatch or as yours truly prefers to call him or them depending on how many there are big feet because why not the bigfoot is said to stand between eight to nine feet tall it's a very huge hairy creature which one individual has spotted and taken a photograph of i think you guys and girls know which photograph i'm talking about a giant man a giant hairy man which was spotted running around in the woods or some part of the wilderness this creature I would love to see it on the big screen and have journalists or other individuals talk about this creature and their finding of it wherever it is they found it it would be a creature I would love to learn more about but sadly like all urban legends it may not be true it could be true it's entirely up to debate but that's my number five pick in urban legends I wish to see in movies. At number four we have Chupacabra, otherwise known in Spanish or Espanol as El Chupacabra. It's a creature which was first spotted in Puerto Rico. El Chupacabra is said to be a creature, a monster actually, that eats goats. It tackles down and eats goats however it wants. It's also known as a goat sucker because you know. And this creature, El Chupacabra, is said to be very humanoid, a very humanoid alien-like creature that stands on two feet. It's quite hairy and quite insect-like. It's a very unique looking creature unlike the abominable snowman or Bigfoot or the Sasquatch because the Sasquatch or Bigfoot has hair like men do even though it stands between eight to nine feet tall. It's more like a mammal creature as opposed to the Chupacabra or El Chupacabra. El Chupacabra Cabra is very alien-like and very insect-like when compared to Bigfoot, but El Chupacabra is my number four pick of urban legends I wish to see in movies because this is a creature which I found to be more fascinating than Bigfoot himself. At number three, we have the Loch Ness Monster, which was said to be first spotted in Loch Ness in some part of Scotland, and this is a creature which is said to be very prehistoric, a very prehistoric-like creature which has a long neck and was once spotted in 1933 or 1934 depending on which you believe and there was a photo taken of this creature many years ago which the exact date is 1934 and this creature has a very long neck its body is very huge it's a creature which was said to have been spotted in some part of Loch Ness but this creature just like El Chupacabra and Bigfoot was said to have been spotted but none can prove its existence
sense because it remains to this very day an urban legend which none can prove, just like the other creatures on this list. But the Loch Ness Monster is another creature I found to be very fascinating and something I really do wish actually exists because I love these kind of mythical creatures. But sadly though, it may not exist, but whatever. At number two, we have Bloody Mary. I had to add a female member to this list, a list of urban legends, so why not Bloody Mary? For those of you who don't know, Bloody Mary is said to be a phantom or a ghost or a spiritual-like creature who is said to appear in the mirror every time these young girls are to pronounce her name three times, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, and right before you know it, she appears before them, these little girls, and try to picture the worst case scenario with Bloody Mary and these little girls as she, you know, kills them, devours them, or does whatever she wants to them, these innocent little virgins, and yeah, Bloody Mary is quite vicious as opposed to the other creatures, but you know what guys, I really love her for that, and Bloody Mary is another fascinating creature. What I found to be most fascinating about Bloody Mary is the fact that she is a ghost or phantom-like creature that appears before these young girls and is able to kill them despite not being real or thought to be real considering her story is made up and meant to scare little girls to bed because I guess that's the best way they can have their children go to bed. I doubt there's ever going to be a creature or ghost like Bloody Mary who's ever going to fascinate me because I love Bloody Mary. And finally guys and gals, at number one we have the black eyed children. The black eyed children which are these young boys, these young kids in general who are said to be between the ages of 6 and 16 and have pale skin and black eyes as opposed to most eyes you would see in the night. And these children between the ages of 6 and 16 who have black eyes and pale pale skin was said to have been seen on hitchhike roads where people go hitchhike and they spot these kids, these children with black eyes and usually when you take a photo at night a person's eyes appear to be either red or white but these kids have black eyes. Black eyed children are said to be a huge myth which none are able to prove but there was one footage, not a photo, a footage captured where someone was said to have spotted this young boy in the hitchhike road who had black eyes but whether or not you can take this video to be legitimate or legit is totally up to you but this video is quite interesting and can be used as evidence to prove whether or not the black eyed children exist but we'll never know to be honest but this was my top five list of urban legends I wish to see in movies thank you guys and girls for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like comment, subscribe if you wish, and do check out the channel of Emily Boone. I'm going to add a link for her channel down below in the description box. Hope you guys and gals enjoyed this topic of the Movie Monday series, and look forward to the next episode. Until then, adios amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.